Hey, uh, Greg from Vulture here. Wanted to go through a quick video just to show you some of the features of the new version of the sensor, the Max Plus. Uh, what we ended up doing is taking a lot of the functionality that we had in Revo and we built it into the Max Plus. So some of the main things you'll see um, when I go through is we have LEDs on both sides now, um, the white light and the alarm LED, as well as a button here. So this button is for turning it on and off, so powering it. You don't have to deal with the wireless shutdown stuff if you don't want to. Um, but on top of it, it's also for resetting it. So much like the Revo, after you get an alarm, uh, it goes into spin mode, so you have to actually reset it to rearm it. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, you can see that it opens up pretty much the same. It's every other thumb screw, just like the old sensor. Uh, so now you can open it up. Um, when you look inside of it, you'll see a little bit some differences still two AA batteries, so I'll go put that in. You'll see it operate a little bit differently. It'll light up like this and then flash green. So now you know it's ready to go. Um, that's all standard stuff. Uh, we got rid of the dip switches inside. So the dip switches previously were used to change one way or two way mode, um, as well as the alarm LED on and off. Those were the main features. A lot of that stuff now we pushed into the Vulture Connect app. So by default right now, it is a two-way device. If you want it to be a one-way device, which I wouldn't recommend using, it's just nice to be able to check your sensors from a distance. Uh, you can do that in the app. Um, on top of that, uh, much like the Revo, there's a button, one button on here. If you press it three times, that's how you pair it. You see the green light and I just push the button that I want it to go to. That's a one-time thing that you have to do. Um, so you can pull it, you'll see flash, flash on both sides in response. So that's all the same. We made sure all the packets are backwards compatible. Revo will work uh, with the old handheld in terms of just normal flag alarms. Um, and it will also work with the Kinect. Uh, the only difference is the spin alarms are not supported in the old handheld, which we can't do, uh, but it will be just like Revo. All the messages are identical. Um, on top of that, there's a button here that I can hold down, much like the Revo, where I can cycle through the, all the color options for the alarm LED. So red, green, blue, you'll see all the colors here. Um, so whenever you decide what color you want, you just let go of it button. Um, the last one will be the LED off, much like the Revo. So when, if you want the alarm LED off, you let go of the button when it goes clear. Um, so it'll stick to the color that I selected here. Um, the button in front I mentioned, that's for powering up and down. So I'll just show you real quick here. If I hold the button, you'll see it fade off red. Now if I push the button now, you'll see it's off. I want to turn it back on. I just hold the button again and it'll go flash green and I can tell it's on now. If I press the reset button, every time you press the reset button, it'll flash red. So those are the big differences in terms of the inside. Um, so we'll get into a few other things here. All right, let's, let's get into some of the specifics of how you can use the max plus for monitoring uh, T bar for spinning and stuff. So what you're going to want to do is mount it in line with the T bar, much like the Revo. Um, what I did is I put the sensor bracket, I backed off the wing nut here and pushed the bolt back and I kind of locked it in place there. That's just one way to doing it. I think you can easily make an adapter. You can just set it on the hole cover, you know, right next to the sensor so that's in line. On a lot of tip ups, you can adjust the height. So you're gonna wanna just make sure everything is lined up. Um, I have the sensor kind of at a 45, the magnet. Um, so when I turn it like so, you'll see it's armed. It flashed green on this side and I apologize for that. Um, and much like Revo, what happens when it turns, so right now I'm getting that rotating alarm LED, so that's my flag alarm going up, and then as I spin it, you'll see it, it changes colors. It does every other one um, with a color sequence like that, and then every once in a while you get the spin messages. So when I, you can actually uh, change the number of revolutions that you want an alarm, and you can visually see at a distance that it's spinning. So just a valuable tool, uh, pretty much the same as how Revo does it. So that's kind of how I recommend doing it. Like I said, you can just set it on a whole cover, have it in line, and then just make sure everything is lined up right. You wanna have the height and whatnot kind of facing, set accordingly uh, to where the magnet is here. So you just wanna try it out ahead of time.
At the same time, you can pull it out of here and do your traditional. So I have to press the button to reset it. It flashed red and now it's not an alarm anymore. But your more traditional flag, uh, like we've always done, is still the same. So in that case, you know, you mount it over here. When you put it on, it armed, flash green. And the same type of thing, when it goes off, it goes into alarm, you get that alarm message right away. So the big difference, much like Revo, um, for now is that it's sitting here now waiting for spin. It doesn't know if you're using it for flag monitoring or spin. So you gotta go press the button here when, you're, uh, when you go to reset it and it'll stop alarming and then you know it'll just basically rearm again like so. Oh, sorry about that. It'll rearm like so. So a lot of the same functionality that we had before.